This is Mr. Beck does your homework. This is AP Physics homework 2.3. This is question number seven, a tricky question. So I think I have a lot of new viewers out there. Let's see, I, I'm even, I even wrote you a note up on top of this. I said, note, this is what I'm saying. This question is asking for distance, not displacement. Remember, distance is a scalar, displacement is a vector. So distance just has a magnitude and amount and it's always going to be positive. Displacement is a vector, so it's got a magnitude and a direction. So we're going to have one direction be positive, the other direction be negative. So what this means is since it asks for distance, your answer should be a positive number. But you do have to pay attention to east and west and pick one to be positive and the other to be negative. I tend to like east being positive and west being negative, and sometimes that's a default. Uh, you will also find out that north is positive and south is negative. So this is a standard north and east are positive, south and west are negative. Just a standard way that it tends to be. If they don't tell you, that's probably right. So now let's get to the question. A motorboat accelerates uniformly from a velocity of 6.5 meters per second to the west. So here is my motorboat and it's moving along at a speed. Here's my motorboat, little engine there. Okay, so my motorboat is moving this direction and it's moving this direction at 6.5 meters per second. So if that's west, right? So it's moving to the west. If that's west, I'm going to say that my initial velocity is negative 6.5 meters per second. All that's telling me is that it's moving 6.5 meters per second to the direction I've labeled as negative, which in this case is west. Um, here, let me pull this down a little bit. Now you can see, sorry, north is positive. So I'm starting off at negative 6.5 meters per second or a velocity of 6.5 meters per second to the west. Um, then it accelerates uniformly to a velocity of 1.3 meters per second to the west. So what's happening is my final velocity is negative 1.3 meters per second. So it was going fast, it ends up going slow in the same direction to the west in my, in my homework. If its acceleration was 2.0 meters per second squared to the east, acceleration is 2.0 meters per second squared, and this says to the east. So if it's east, I'm gonna label that as positive. How far did it travel during the acceleration? So I'm still looking for a displacement is going to be, I don't know how far. So now I'm looking for an equation that relates initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and displacement, but doesn't have time. So the equation I'm going to use is my, I'm going to look at my four equations of motion, and I'm going to see that v squared equals v0 squared plus 2ax. So my final velocity is going to be negative 1.3 squared equals my initial velocity, which is negative 6.5 squared plus twice my acceleration times my displacement. Now, when I do this, you'll see that negative 1.3 squared is going to be a smaller number. It's going to be positive. And this is going to be negative 6.5 squared. When I square that, it's going to be positive. When I subtract it, I'm going to wind up with a negative number over here somewhere. So whatever this result is, when I bring the 6.5 over, I'm going to subtract that. So that's going to equal 4 times x for me, 2 times 2, 4. If I divide, I'm going to wind up with some negative number for x, which is fine. So my displacement is going to be negative something or other. But the trick here, again, is it's asking for distance. Um, so how far did it travel? It's just asking how far. It's not asking what direction. So whatever your negative answer is, turn it into a positive answer and plug that answer into U Texas. So that's going to be a positive number is your answer when you do your math.